Hello, this is Christian. Welcome to video three of the credit card number check application. This time we're going to do a different approach by using two operators called the floor division and the modulus operator. And again, if you haven't uh, watched video one, go back to the first video uh, where I explain how to do this. Okay, so again, the uh, total the idea is basically do these two uh, special operations here or, or calculations here. You're going to get two sums, add them up, you get a total at the bottom here at 50, and you check the last digit here. If it's a zero, then that's a valid number, otherwise it's an invalid number. And here are some numbers you can also check. All right, so let's go to the IDE. So here is the previous exercise. So I'm going to copy again just the uh, first part here, All right? And we're going to add a new file, it's going to say c3.py. And we'll place it right in here. Okay, so let me close the right here. We can have some more spaces. All right, so this is the sum one again. And I'll use a, um, with this time, no conversions. The only conversion I will do is the very initial conversion here. When I read the number in, I want to convert into an integer. That's the only conversion I want to do here, okay? So the rest will be just all numbers. And uh, by using the operators called the uh, floor division and the modulus, you can see how powerful they are to solve this kind of problem. Okay, so here's the first one. Now I'm going to use a while loop in this to this example is just uh, simpler. So the first thing you want to do is once you get the number, then you want to check if something is true, right? And each time we, when I go through the the loop here, I'm going to decrease my number here. I'm going to drop one number or two numbers at a time. That is the idea. So say I have a gap. I got my first number here. This is the first group of numbers. So what I want to do is I'm going to grab the last digit, right? right? Grab the last digit, add it to the sum, and you move to the next, you skip one digit, go to the next one digit, add it to the sum, and you keep adding that until you reach the end of that zero. So every time I want to add the digit, I truncate the last digit, right? I remove that out of the list. Well, actually, I remove two of those lists, right? You move those two out, and then you, you grab this, add to the sum, remove them out, add this one, remove, add, remove. Eventually, you can see it again, you're going to get zero. So when the length or what the number of the temp is zero, there's no more no number left, then you can stop, okay? So that is the idea here. And let me put these numbers back. So what you do is you can say while attempt is not equal to zero, all right? Because right now, these are indeed numbers. So when it's not going to zero, then you can say something like this. And you check this first digit here. You want to grab that first digit and the far right and then add it to the sum. So how do you do that? Okay. And uh, so you could, you would just say, um, you could do something like very simple. Uh, so it's the sum one plus equal the last digit. So how do you get this last digit? All right. Remember these are base 10 numbers. So let me put, um, let me show this again at the terminal here so you can kind of see what it looks like. So remember if I have a number of, you know, one, two, three, if you want to grab the last digit, you would do a modulus 10, right? As you can see, because these are base 10 numbers, right? And a base 10 digit. So you grab the last digit. So I grab the last digit and that's what I want to do. I'm going to grab the last digit and add that digit to the sum. So exactly what I'm going to do here. So you can say temp modulus 10, and that will give you, give you the last number you added to the sum. And then now I have to uh, update my temp variable, right? So now how do you remove this digit? If you want to remove just a single digit, you would do one, two, three, and then this is the floor division by 10. If you do that, you see that one digit is tr has been truncated, right? It's been removed. So I only have this much left. But for our exercise, we're removing two digits, not one. So I grab this last one, use that for, use for my calculation, and then I'm going to truncate two numbers instead. So you could do it two times if you want, 
right? You could say 1, 2, 3, 10, and then you do it again, you get it the second digit. Or you can just do a division by 100, and that will give you indeed that just the last digit left, right? You truncated two digits, you get the last digit, okay? So let me do a little bit more like 1, 2, 3, 4, right? If you do 100, you see that I dropped the last two. Now I have this digit left. So now I need to grab this digit again. So again, back to the modulus operator. So you can see that process here, back to my operators. So here, I would say my temp is equal, assigned to the temp itself, right? Floor division of 100. And, oops, not that one. And that will solve the problem. Okay? Now, notice if I do this, then my second uh, uh, while loop won't work. So I'm going to I'm going to rename a variable here um, to something else. I'll call this card, and then I'll do a temp is equal card here. Okay, because I want to be used again down here for the other uh, sum. So that's my sum one. As you can see, no conversion. But the sum two. This is the other part, right? Where you um, you know you add each each uh, single digit together and you add it to the sum two okay and so we're going to do some something similar so while temp is also not equal to zero then we do the following now how do we do this kind of similar right so first what do we do we grab the second digit from the right so how do you do that hmm right you could do you know uh, floor division by one and you grab that uh, using the uh, modulus and then floor division by one or by two, you grab that, right? You keep doing that way. I mean, lots of ways to do it, but I want to do it this way. So first thing is I'm going to remove this group, right? I'll, I'll grab those two numbers and then, right? And then you will grab the ninth digit, okay? So for example, if I have like one, two, three, four, I want to grab the last two digit, which is 34. So I would do a mod of 100, right? That will give me 34. Okay, so once I got 34, now how do I grab the number three only? Because I don't want to get the last digit. I just want, oops, I just want the first digit. How do you do that? Well, that is back to this again. So 34, if you do a floor division of 10, not 100, right? 10 is a single digit. I'm going to get a 3. So there it is. I got my 3, right? So that means I got my 9. And then what, what's the next step says? It tells me that I have to double it. And then I can double that, get a 6. And then I can, you know, add that as well to the sum. All right, so that is the first thing I'm going to do here. So I'm going to say n is temp, okay? I'm going to do a mod of 100. That will grab, I'm not sure why this keep grabbing arithmetic here. It's going to grab the last two digits. So again here, if it's 80, it's going to grab 8 and 0 together. I got that, did that pair of numbers. And then I'm going to grab just the letter of the number 8 out of that. So you can do it again. n is equal to n floor division 10. Okay, so now I have that digit only. And then finally, I'm going to multiply that by 2, right? And now I got my sum of those of that single digit. If it's 8, it's going to be 16. If it's a 2 or 3, it's going to be a, a 4 or a 6. Okay, so whatever that digit is, you're going to get that total here. And then we're going to split those digits and uh, add them up, right? So if it's a it's a nine, then that's going to be eighteen. Eighteen. That's a one and an eight. So we're going to plus that number. So again, if it's a number like uh, twelve, right? Six plus six is twelve. How do I get each of those numbers? I just showed you, right? The ma will give you a two, right? And the floor division gives you a one. So there it is. I split my numbers, and then I will add them up. Right? 
that's what I'm going to do here. So my sum 2 is going to be equal to the n, right? That gives me my first digit, this is the first digit, plus my second digit, which is the 2. And I got my sum there. So in this case, I don't have to worry about a single digit or a double digit or not. It'll always work. I don't need to check it because I'm not concerned about the index position. This, however, you have to check because if it's a single digit, this is going to be a, a problem, right? But using these operators, it'll, it'll always work. It's going to give you a zero anyway if, it's just, if there's none. And then, uh, once you do that, you get your sum. And finally, you have to update your temp, just like here, right? You have to drop the last two digits. So again, it would be the same as above. There we go. And I should have my new temp. And then it goes back, and then the whole process starts again. And then finally down here, we're going to verify. So again, it would be total equals sum1 plus sum2. Again, no, no conversion here. And then we need to check the last digit. right? If it's a 30, how do you check the last digit? Same as this, right? So you could do something like um, val valid value equals total, okay, homage 10. That will always give you the last digit of your numbers, like we did here. Give you the last digit of the whole number. Now we get our val valid value, and then we just check it. So if valid value is indeed equal to zero, then valid, otherwise invalid. So I believe that may be it. Let's give it a test. Clear my console over here, and um, let's give it a run. So let's go and copy uh, one of these numbers, the first one here. So. Okay, it's there's an error in here. Okay, so um, that's not correct. I think let's try a different one here. I may have a typo or an error somewhere in my calculation. Okay, that's that's valid. Um, unless I changed the number for some reason. Let's try a different number. Yeah, those are valid. Okay, so there's an error in my code somewhere. So let's figure out why because my total is is not correct, right? Okay, so let's run the first one again. Uh, because the first one shows us some some results, we can we can check why. This is supposed to be a valid number, right? So the first sum is 23. This, as you can see, sum two we got a zero. So I think I did something wrong here. And you know why? I did not catch that, but because our temp has been set to zero, right? Once we did the while loop, I forgot to reset my temp to a, a different back to the number. So I have to do temp is equal to card again. Which is why I wanted to preserve my original number here and I forgot to do that here. Okay, so that was a tricky one. So that is what's called a logic error as you can see. Because I know my code looks pretty uh, <laughs> correct. So let's try again. Alright, and I'm going to paste in the number again. And so here we go, we got 50 for that one. That's correct. Let's try this one here. And that is indeed valid. And we'll try one more, the last one here, and we should be good to go. So here we go. That's all working correctly and beautifully. So uh, you can see how I did this using these operators. And I'll show you one way how you can refactor this code. It's confusing, but um, if you're interested, of course, you can always do that. So every time you see something like this, like temp equal temp something, right? Uh, and equal n plus something multiply something like this, you can rewrite this to make it a little bit short by removing the temp here, right? And put the put the signs over here. Like that. Right. So here we go. And here will be n uh, slash slash ten. And the n star two. Right. And then the, uh, this part is fine as is. Uh, but this part here will be again slash slash 100. Okay, 
So uh, just another way to uh, make your code a little bit shorter. Um, it could be a little bit confusing, but um, it does, you know, uh, reduce some bytes. So it makes it a little bit shorter. And if you run it now, it should still work. So there you go. And as, as it is, you see here. Okay, so if you have any questions, please let me know.